Russian President of the Russian Federation, Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, ministers, distinguished guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's ceremony where eight documents will be exchanged. The first is the protocol for consultations between the two foreign ministries for the period 2019-2023. This will be exchanged by His Excellency Sergei Lavrov, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, and by Srimati Shushma Swaraj, the External Affairs Minister of India. Second, Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry of Economic Development of the Russian Federation and the National Institution for Transforming India, Niti Aayog, to be exchanged by His Excellency Mr. Maxim Orshenkin, Minister of the Economic Development of Russia, and Dr. Rajiv Kumar, VC Niti Aayog. Number three, MOU between ISRO and the Federal Space Agency of Russia on joint activities in the field of human space flight program to be exchanged by Mr. Dimitrov Rogosin, Director of Roscomos and Foreign Secretary of India, Sri Vijay Gokhale. Fourth, Memorandum of Cooperation between the Indian and Russian Railways to be exchanged by Mr. Oleg Belozerov, CEO, Chairman of Russian Railways, and Sri Vijay Gokhale, Foreign Secretary of India. Fifth, Action Plan for Prioritization and Implementation of Cooperation Area in the Nuclear Field to be exchanged by Mr. Alexey Likachev, DG Rosatom, and Shri K. N. Vyas, Secretary, Department of Atomic Energy. Sixth, MOU between the Russian Ministry of Transport and the and Indian Railways in the development cooperation in the sector of transport education to be exchanged by His Excellency Mr. Nikolai Kodashev, Ambassador of Russia and the Ambassador of India to Russia, Sri D.B. Venkatesh Varma. Seventh, MOU between the National Small Industries Corporation of India and the Russian Small and Medium Business Corporation on cooperation in the field of micro, small and medium enterprises to be exchanged by Mr. Alexander Bravman, DG, Russian Small and Medium Business Corporation and our Ambassador in Russia, Sri D.B. Venkatesh Varma. Eighth. Cooperation agreement in the fertilizer sector between the Russian Direct Investment Fund, Force Agro and Indian Potash Limited to be exchanged on the Russian side by Mr. Kirill Dmitriev, DG Russian Direct Investment Fund and Mr. Andrei Guriev, CEO of Force Agro and on the Indian side by our Ambassador to Russia, Sri D.B. Venkatesh Varma. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm also pleased to report that following the summit negotiations, President uh, Putin and, of, and Prime Minister Modi ji, uh, both sides have adopted the joint statement, uh, Russia, India, an enduring partnership in a changing world. Excellencies, this concludes the signing and exchange ceremony. I now request the spokesperson of the Minister of External Affairs to conduct the proceedings. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this press event. To begin the proceedings, may I request the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji, to deliver his statement to the media. Your Excellency,
व्लादिमिर व्लादिमोरोविच पुतिन दोनों देश सम्मानीय प्रतिनिधि नमस्कार दोबरे दिन 19वें वार्षिक शिखर सम्मेलन के लिए भारत में राष्ट्रपति पुतिन तथा उनके डेलीगेशन का स्वागत करते हुए मुझे बहुत प्रसन्नता हो रही है हम एक ऐसे देश के राष्ट्रपति के रूप में आपका स्वागत कर रहे हैं जिसके साथ हमारे अद्वितीय संबंध हैं इन संबंधों के लिए आपने अमूल्य व्यक्तिगत योगदान दिया है राष्ट्रपति पुतिन द्वारा सोची में आयोजित अनौपचारिक शिखर सम्मेलन की स्मृतियां मेरे मन में ताजा है उस खास मुलाकात से हम दोनों को खुलकर गहन चर्चा करने का अवसर प्राप्त हुआ राष्ट्रपति जी रूस के साथ अपने संबंधों को भारत सर्वोच्च प्राथमिकता देता है तेजी से बदलते हुए इस विश्व में हमारे संबंध और अधिक प्रासंगिक हो गए हैं 19 शिखर सम्मेलनों की निरंतर श्रृंखला से हमारी स्पेशल और प्रिविलेज स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप को लगातार नई ऊर्जा और दिशा मिली है और वैश्विक मामलों पर हमारे सहयोग को नए मायने एवं मकसद भी मिले हैं हमारे सहयोग को आपकी यात्रा से स्ट्रेटेजिक डायरेक्शन मिला है आज हमने ऐसे महत्वपूर्ण निर्णय लिए हैं जो दीर्घकालिक दृष्टि से हमारे संबंधों को और अधिक ताकतवर बनाएंगे ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट से लेकर नेचुरल और एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज तक ट्रेड से लेकर इन्वेस्टमेंट तक नाभिकीय ऊर्जा के शांतिपूर्ण सहयोग से लेकर सौर ऊर्जा तक टेक्नोलॉजी से लेकर टाइगर कंजर्वेशन तक आर्किटिक से लेकर फार ईस्ट तक और सागर से लेकर के अंतरिक्ष तक भारत और रूस के संबंधों का और भी विशाल विस्तार होगा यह विस्तार हमारे सहयोग को अतीत के कुछ गिने चुने दायरों के उस पार ले जाएगा साथ ही हमारे संबंधों के महत्वपूर्ण आधार स्तंभ और मजबूत होंगे भारत की विकास यात्रा में रूस हमेशा हमारे साथ रहा है हमारा अंतरिक्ष में अगला लक्ष्य भारत के गगनयान में भारतीय अंतरिक्ष यात्री को भेजना है मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि आपने इस मिशन में रूस के पूरे सहयोग का आश्वासन दिया है युवाओं में हमारे देशों के भविष्य का कायाकल्प करने की क्षमता है मुझे इस बात की खुशी है कि भारत एवं रूस की प्रतिभा संपन्न बच्चे सम्मिलित रूप से अपने इनोवेटिव आइडियाज का प्रदर्शन आज दोपहर के बाद करेंगे ये आइडियाज उन्होंने मिलजुल कर विकसित किए हैं हम भारत के फ्लैगशिप कार्यक्रमों में और बिजनेस के व्यापक अवसरों में रूस की भागीदारी का स्वागत करते हैं मुझे इस बात की भी खुशी है कि अब से कुछ समय बाद हम इंडिया रूसिया बिजनेस समिट में भी भाग लेंगे इसमें दोनों देशों से करीब 200 प्रमुख आर्थिक उद्यमी भाग ले रहे हैं भारत एवं रूस पारंपरिक हित के सभी अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मामलों में घनिष्ठता से सहयोग करते रहे हैं प्रेसिडेंट पुतिन तथा मैंने इन पर भी विस्तार से चर्चा की है भारत और रूस तेजी से बदलते हुए विश्व में मल्टी पोलरिटी और मल्टी लेटरलिज्म 
को सुदृढ़ करने पर एक मत है आतंकवाद के विरुद्ध संघर्ष अफगानिस्तान तथा इंडो पैसिफिक के घटनाक्रम जलवायु परिवर्तन एस ब्रिक्स जैसे क्षेत्रीय संगठनों एवं जी ट्वेंटी तथा आसियान जैसे बहुपक्षीय संगठनों में सहयोग करना में हमारे दोनों देशों के साझा हित रहे हैं हम अंतर्राष्ट्रीय संस्थानों में अपने लाभप्रद सहयोग और समन्वय को जारी रखने पर सहमत हुए हैं मैं प्रेसिडेंट पुतिन द्वारा रूस के सुदूर पूर्व के विकास के लिए उठाए गए कदमों से बहुत प्रभावित हुआ हूं भारत इस क्षेत्र में सहयोग के लिए तत्पर है आज लिए गए निर्णयों से हमारे सहयोग में और वृद्धि होगी तथा चुनौतियों भरे विश्व में शांति और स्थिरता की बहाली में योगदान मिलेगा भाई और बहनों भारत और रूस के संबंधों की शक्ति का स्रोत सामान्य जन में एक दूसरे के प्रति सद्भाव और मैत्री है हमने आज ऐसे कई प्रयासों पर विचार किया है जिनसे पीपल टू पीपल संबंध और मजबूत हो और दोनों देशों के लोगों की विशेषतः युवाओं की एक दूसरे के बारे में जानकारी और आपसी समझ और बढ़े इससे भारत रूस के संबंधों के भविष्य की एक नई नींव का निर्माण होगा फ्रेंड्स मैं विश्वासपूर्वक कह सकता हूं कि भारत रूस ये मैत्री अपने आप में अनूठी है मुझे पूरा विश्वास है कि इस विशिष्ट रिश्ते के लिए प्रेसिडेंट पुतिन की प्रतिबद्धता से इन संबंधों को और भी ऊर्जा मिलेगी और हमारे बीच प्रगाढ़ विश्वास एवं मैत्री और सुदृढ़ होगी और हमारी स्पेशल एंड प्रिविलेज स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप को नई बुलंदियां प्राप्त होगी आप सबका हृदय से बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू पासीबा थैंक यू सर नाउ इट इज माय प्लेजर टू इनवाइट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द रशियन फेडरेशन इज एक्सलेंसी मिस्टर व्लादिमिर पुतिन टू डिलीवर स्टेटमेंट टू द मीडिया Dear friend, Your Excellency, Mr. Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, we, it is always our great pleasure to come to India because we know that here we will find an environment of sincere friendship, business-like communication and cooperation. Our nations and states have for a long time been connected through a strong relationship of friendship, mutual respect and sympathy. Yesterday, during the working dinner with Prime Minister Modi, and I'm, by the way, very grateful to you for this sign of friendship, for giving us this opportunity to talk in this very close format and to discuss the most important and relevant topics on the agenda, on the global agenda, and discuss the fundamental issues of Russian-Indian cooperation and to outline new horizons. And today, first in the restricted format and then with participation of delegations, we discussed the key areas of our cooperation. We've had a very meaningful discussion on the whole range of issues of bilateral cooperation. We have discussed in detail relevant topics of international and regional agenda. We have adopted a joint statement which reflects almost all aspects of Russian-Indian cooperation. We have outlined large-scale plans for a long-term prospect. A solid package of interagency and corporate documents we have just signed today have been prepared for the visit and its goal is to further develop and deepen our bilateral ties in various areas. It is true that we indeed discussed during this negotiations our trade and investment cooperation and broadening this kind of cooperation is of utmost importance for me and for Mr. Prime Minister. We have set a goal of increasing the goods turnover up to 30 billion US dollars by 2025 and the amount of mutual investments up to 15 billion US dollars. And in this context, we were pleased to note that last year mutual trade grew by 21%, exceeding 9 billion US dollars. And over the seven months of this year, it has added another 20%. If we 
proceed moving at this at this pace, we will be able to reach our goal even before the set framework. Business circles of Russia and India maintain close contacts. They implement large joint investment projects. Representative Indian delegations took part in St. Petersburg Economic Forum and in the Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok. And it is my great pleasure to once again invite Mr. Prime Minister to participate in the next Vladivostok Forum as the main guest at the Vladivostok Economic Forum in September 2019. Russian Indian Business Forum is taking place in New Delhi these days and Mr. Prime Minister and I will deliver a statement to its participants and we will support useful initiatives to develop cooperation in key areas of economy and finance. Deepening our cooperation in energy sector is one of the topics that we have paid a lot of attention to together with Mr. Prime Minister. We gave a positive assessment of implementation of interagency program of cooperation in the strategic area. Russia is a reliable supplier of hydrocarbons to India. We are successfully implementing long-term contracts through Rosneft and Gazprom to ensure to supply the Indian economy with energy commodities. India imports Russia's liquefied natural gas. We're supplying this gas from Sakhalin, one field in which Indian partners own 20%. In June, the first batch of LNG was sent to the Indian market within the framework of the contract between Gazprom and Gas Authority of India Limited. We also welcome interest of energy companies from India to expand their businesses in Russia. We're ready to consider the possibility of cooperating within the such programs as Far Eastern LNG, Arctic LNG2, and also other products to exploit and to explore natural resources of Siberia, Yamal, and continental shelf of the Russian Federation. We have discussed in details the flagship project and the peaceful use of nuclear energy, Kudankulam nuclear power plant. The first two units of this nuclear power plant are gaining their full capacity. The third and fourth units are being constructed. The fifth and sixth units are to be constructed next. According to the agreements, that we possess. Based on Russian high-tech technologies, we plan to build 12 power units in the next 20 years in India. We have touched upon stru strengthening our cooperation in industry and investment. We talked in particular about machine building, metallurgy, agriculture, medicine, pharmaceuticals, and biochemical technologies. We believe there is a good prospect for a joint cooperation in large infrastructure projects. In particular, a Russian Railways a company is ready to participate in the projects to build modern railroads in India. We have agreed that Russia will assist Indian partners in exploring outer space. Roscosmos Agency plans to participate in preparing Indian national program to launch the manned spacecraft. And of course, we have discussed in detail the prospects of our military and technical cooperation. For decades, Russia and India have been cooperating successfully in this area. We enjoy a truly close and mutually beneficial relationship, which is an inalienable part of the Russian-Indian strategic partnership. Our cooperation goes beyond supplies of Russian weapons. Our countries produce and develop jointly modern military products. We maintain regular contacts between ministries of defense and general stuff of our countries. We improve our combat readiness. In August, Indian units participated for the first time in anti-terror exercises called Peace Mission 2018 that took place in Russia. India's servicemen are active participants of Army International Games in tank biathlon and in competitions of Alpine Special Forces. We have of course, I paid a lot of our attention during our talks to humanitarian component of our relationship. Russia and India have always demonstrated interest in each other's culture and spiritual legacy. This is confirmed by the huge success of the Festival of India in Russia, which will last until March 2019 in 22 cities of Russia. 
India will host Festival of Russian Culture. I'm convinced all these events will bring the peoples of our countries even closer. There are almost 10,000 Indian students in Russia and about 100 scholarships are provided to the citizens of India annually. India is a popular direction for Russian tourists. In 2017, about 220,000 Russians visited India. We received 94,000 Indians in Russia. When discussing international agenda, we have confirmed that Russia and India adhere to similar or concurrent positions on the key global issues. Bearing this in mind, we have agreed to step up our coordination and cooperation at multilateral platforms such as the UN, BRICS, SCO, and G20. We will also cooperate closely to strengthen security and cooperation in Asia. We will combat such challenges and threats as international terrorism, drug trafficking, and transborder crime. We have also touched upon restoration of economy and stable political development of Afghanistan. We have exchanged views on the situation in the Middle East. I have informed Mr. Prime Minister about the situation in Syria. We have also discussed the situation that came as a result of unilateral actions of the U.S. to withdraw from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action on Iran's nuclear deal. And in conclusion, I would like to thank Mr. Prime Minister and all of our Indian friends and colleagues for these very meaningful and constructive negotiations. I am convinced that their results will help further contribute, will have further step up strategic partnership between Russia and India and strengthen friendship between our countries and nations. As I have already said, Prime Minister and I will have a meeting with the representative of business circles as well as with talented Indian children and their peers from the Russian Educational Center named Sirius who came upon Mr. Modi's invitation to India. I will also meet with Mr. President of the Republic of India. Mr. Prime Minister has put forward a number of humanitarian initiatives such as to renew the publishing of Russian and Indian books and also cooperate in some other areas in humanitarian field. I believe it is very important. We will support these initiatives because we believe that cooperation in this field and people-to-people -people contact will definitely help consolidate the friendship between the peoples of India and the Russian Federation. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. This concludes the President. Thank you all for joining us.